Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're gonna to talk about collagen supplements and what you need to know before taking the supplements. So let's get right into it. Collagen is necessary for the formation of connective tissue, basically skin, bones, cartilage, tendons, ligaments, hair, and nails, okay? Collagen is made up of peptides primarily glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline. It's derived from pigs, cows, marine animals, fish, and egg membranes. Basically all the bone and the griddle of all these animals is where the collagen is. Main uses, joint pain, inflammatory conditions, skin, bone, tissue repair, okay? and cardiovascular effects, because it actually helps the, the cardiovascular tissues, uh, like the arteries and the veins, okay? So, what you need to know, there are one, two, three, four, five types, and number 10 right in here. So number one is derived from dermis, tendon, ligaments, and bone. Type two, cartilage vitros body, which is basically the eyeball, right? The fluid inside. Nucleus pulposus, that is the disc. So if you look at the spinal cord, there's a disc and it has annular fibrosis and nucleus pulposus. And in the middle is this gelatinous portion called the nucleus pulposus, which is the cushion of the disc in your spine. Type three, skin, vessel walls, reticular fibers, things that are matrix that hold things together. Type four is basal lamina, epithelial layer of the basement membrane. These are all different tissues in the body. Type five is lung, cornea, hair, fetal membrane, and bones. And type 10 is known to help with bone health overall. All right? So there are different forms, and a lot of supplement companies will use either one or three or one and three together. Some companies will target type two, which is really good for uh, sports injuries or um, joint pain and inflammation. Sometimes they'll use one, two, three, five. Uh, so it depends on the company and what type of collagen they're going to use and the effects that you're going to have. So the supplement companies will use something called collagen, collagen hydroxylase has a lower molecular weight and it absorbs a little bit better. Or they have gelatin hydroxylase, which is derived from fish. And in the studies, it increases plasma levels of amino acids uh, better than uh, porcelain or bovine, basically pigs or cows. So the fish derived is shown to increase collagen or amino acid uptake. There's another form called denatured collagen that they utilize. So different forms. So you want to find the company that actually lists the types of collagen is with, uh, that's in the product. So rather than just say it's collagen, you want to know the specific types. Okay. So in order to absorb collagen, it's better to use it when you have vitamin C. These are little notes I made for myself. Vitamin C, hyaluronic acid for joint pain. So you can use that. You want to use supplementation for at least eight weeks to see if you have benefit because tissue turnover takes a little bit of time, right? Your skin turns over a certain uh, number of times in a year. Um, your bones will also turn over in a certain number of times per year. So you wanna use it for a minimum of eight weeks to see if you have benefits, if you're gonna use a supplementation. At the end of the day, it's best if you can make your own, right? If you make your own bone broth, you can make it out of uh, fish stock, so you get whole fish like salmon, and you can boil it, keep the skin. Uh, you can use chicken th uh, thighs, legs, uh, keep the skin. So you wanna get wild caught fish, right? You wanna get free range pasture raised chicken, uh, things that you know are good in the chicken. So if you made chicken noodle soup, you can use an entire chicken and boil that uh, to make that. So you can put a little apple cider vinegar to pull the, the bones uh, or the ligaments and break it down a little bit better. Uh, you can use uh, salmon stock, you can do uh, chicken eggs. Chicken eggs, the membrane uh, of that chicken egg is also high in collagen. 
So my recommendation would be best if you could make your own bone broth, and there's a lot of different recipes out there, uh, utilizing fish, chicken. Um, in, in the Korean culture, they use oxtail um, uh, to make bone broth. So a lot of cultures will use bone broth because uh, it's good uh, for your overall health. If you're going to use a, a supplementation, look at what type of um, uh, collagen is in there, as well as the hydroxylated forms that are uh, better absorbed. And if you want to use collagen and you don't have time, yes, you can supplement. But it's better if you can make your own. Today we're going to talk about natural sources to build collagen, or the ingredients needed to build collagen in our body. So let's get right into it. Collagen is a fibrous protein found in muscles, tendons, cartilage, skin, nails, blood vessels, bones, and the digestive tract. Three key amino acids are necessary to build collagen, and they are proline, hydroxyproline, and glycine. 90% of the collagen found in the human body is made up of type 1, 2, and 3. And these can be also found in fish, poultry, uh, porcelain, and bovine, basically pig and cow. But if you are a vegetarian, how do we build collagen? Well, there are some uh, vegetarian sources that you can build collagen with. So nutrients, building blocks for collagen. In order to get proline, you need egg whites, meat, cheese, and soy. Glycine, fish, meat, dairy, spinach, kale, cabbage, pumpkin, uh, bananas, kiwis, and even cauliflower. Hydroxyproline from meat, fish, eggs, carob seeds, and alfalfa sprouts. Anthocyanins, things like berries, herbs, spices, and you also need antioxidants, which are um, all this plus oregano, rosemary, cinnamon, and turmeric. If you're making your own bone broth, you can also use these spices in the bone broth. You also need copper to build collagen, so you need beef, liver, sunflower seeds, cashews, chickpeas, lentils, hazelnut, and dark chocolate. Now, I know there are some problems with uh, cooking, let's say, uh, beef bones, right? Because if it's not free-range, pasture-raised, you can have contaminants in them, right? So uh, try to get the best source possible, organic, fresh, pasture-raised uh, animals, and if you're going to make your own bone broth. You can use also these types of veggies and, and fruit in order to build collagen. Uh, with supplementation, if you're going to get a collagen supplement, um, you want to get a, a, a good quality uh, collagen from a reputable company uh, that has a thir third party uh, testing facility that will test their collagen for heavy metals and so forth. All right. So it's important to have the necessary ingredients. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy a supplement. You can make your own uh, using bone broth or some of the other vegetarian options. All right. My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on The Healthy Side. Have an awesome day.